Today, we're looking at the Alpina Star Timer Pilot Chronograph, the Black Star version, named so because of its PVD applied coating on the case. This was released this year at Baselworld. While I've always been a big fan of Alpina and appreciate their price to value ratio, this particular watch was never really on my list of ones I wanted to spend a week with. But I saw it in person at the Time Crafters show in New York earlier this month, and I knew I had to take it for a spin. So many brands produce these pilot watches in the Flieger style from the 1940s. Fliegers were made by a few select brands and were military issue for German pilots. Like the Rolex Submariner, this is an off-repeated design that you see from brand after brand to the point where the black and white dial and blued hands are just becoming sort of forgettable. What I like about this Alpina is that it obviously takes its cues from mid-century Fliegers, but it stands on its own by using different colors and proportions and a lot of stunning depth. There are some fancy and luxurious touches to the design that really make this a nice watch. First off, it's using a gray sunray dial for the background, which is both different from the crowd of pilot watches and interesting in itself how it plays with light. You have applied Arabic numerals and then these extremely three-dimensional markers at the poles of the dial. At 12 o'clock, instead of the typical triangle with two dots, you have the Alpina logo. All these markers have polished steel borders that elegantly reflect light at the right angles. It's a clean dial, balanced, easy to read. The bicompax chronograph layout keeps it symmetrical, and I personally like how there is no date. The hour markers and white hands offer bold contrast, and this combined with the large Arabic numerals makes this one of the most legible watches I've ever handled. The dome sapphire crystal is flawless, it's invisible, which really gives you a straight line of sight into the dial from any angle, even extreme angles. Like I said, the Black Star earns its nickname from the PVD coating on the case. It's 44mm wide, 53mm lug to lug, and 14mm thick. Despite the specs, it has a relatively sleek and stealthy presence on the wrist, at least more so than I expected. The surface is mostly brushed, although there are a few polished details, like the top of the bezel and the outer edges of the lugs. It's rated to 100 meters water resistance. The sign screw down crown and pushers on the side of the case are fairly pronounced and begging to be used. Operating the oversized crown is easy and the pushers have a ton of surface area so you can really get a sure press each time. On the back, you have a see-through case back, sapphire crystal. You can see the Salita SW500 automatic chronograph moving in there with the custom Alpina rotor. I'd say the strap is where the Black Star falls short. It's made of a great quality leather, super soft. However, it's quite bulky, coming in at about 5 millimeters thick until it tapers just before the holes to about 2.5 millimeters. This is also one of those watches where the strap ends are reversed. So the buckle end is on the bottom, while the loose end is on the top of the watch. It's fairly common with pilot watches, but it takes some getting used to if most of your collection fastens the traditional way. The strap doubles over on the inside of the wrist instead of the outside, so you're constantly staring at a lot of leather. I get that you know a long and sturdy strap is part of the pilot watch vibe, but the case isn't that unruly to justify so much strap, although I recognize it's a matter of personal taste. My other concern is the deployment. It snaps and doesn't utilize a push button release system, which concerns me for two reasons. First, in my experience, these buckles are more susceptible to wear and they lose security over time. Second, these clasps are usually reserved for cheaper watches, and I'm a bit underwhelmed to see this type of buckle on a mid-range timepiece. I'd rather have had Alpina implement a standard pin buckle. Finally, my wrist is 6 and 3 quarter inches and I couldn't find a comfortable fit. The second to last pinhole left the watch too loose on the wrist, and the last one was nearly cutting off circulation. If I were to own this watch, I'd require a strap change, but it's worth noting that there isn't a lot of room between the case and the spring bars. So weaving on a thick NATO, like a crown and buckle HD NATO, won't work. However, you should have no problem whatsoever fitting a regular NATO or a, you know, a regular leather strap. With the right strap, the Black Star would feel and look great on the wrist in a variety of situations. It's sizable and hefty, but its dimensions and weight are easily manageable and fall in line with the contemporary sport and pilot watches. It's one of the most wearable 44mm watches I've tried out. It works as an everyday watch, although you might encounter some trouble slotting the case underneath the shirt cuff. The Black Star retails for €2,350, which is about $3,200 US at the time of this video. 
So if you're in the market for a Flieger Pilot Chronograph, then the Alpina Star Timer isn't your best value. Brands like Archimedes, Steinhardt, even Stoa and Leiko, two of the original you know, World War II Flieger producers, offer Pilot Chronographs for $1,000 less than the Alpina Star Timer. However, if you want a handsome original design that isn't being copied by everyone and their brothers, then the Star Timer is worth your consideration. Spending over three grand on a watch and knowing that I'll have to switch out the strap is a bit of a hurdle for me to get over, but I know many collectors who couldn't care less about OEM straps. They've purchased Rolexes even and swapped out the steel bracelets in favor of leather or NATO and never looked back. If this sounds like you, then maybe the Star Timer earns a spot on your wish list.